Hi guys and welcome to another video. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to copy files using um, Fstream or Filestream. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, so first of all, let me choose a file um, in order to do this. I'm going to show you guys the folder of our solution console application. Ray. This is the folder and I'm going to copy a file to this folder using Filestream. So uh, we're going to need to to basically create two streams, okay? One for for reading and one other one for writing. So let's create our streams. Um, let's use using. So we don't need to dispose later on by a stream. Let's call stream read equals new file stream. <clears throat> let's create the, let's create, let me switch my keyboard to Portuguese. So let's create a file name. So the file that I wanted to copy is the, the Visual Studio Code setup. I'm gonna call I'm gonna call VS Code.x executable. We're gonna open this file and we're gonna open it up for uh, file mode. Yeah, file mode.open and file access dot read actual dot write okay because we're gonna be okay i need to come back here let's recap everything okay i'm gonna read so we need to pass a real path let me grab the path of this file i have it here so you guys can see this is the file that i have let's let's click in security security this is the full path okay i'm gonna pass here i could create a variable though but i'm gonna pass here okay this is the full path of that file because in this in this in this stream read i'm gonna be reading this file and later let me create a variable here string vs code equals let's do this just so we can do this in a single line to be more visible. So let's pass VS Code, file mode dot open, file access dot read. So we're gonna be reading this file. Let's create another file stream. Stream stream write equals new file stream. So we need to get the name, okay? I'm just gonna pass VS Code. That's when I string VS VS Code dot X dot X uh, file mode dot open and file access dot write. So we have this file for we have these two streams, one for reading and another one for writing. So now comes the difficult part. Which is to explain how we are how we're gonna do this in a low level setting. So the first thing we're gonna do is to create a, a int integer to count the number of bytes that we've read. So int bytes read. Okay, this is a standard in this case. Uh, we also need to define a buffer. Let's create a byte array for our buffer. You can go with usually a low buffer. Um, I usually use four kilobytes, so uh, four thousand nine six. But you could you could use larger um, buffer size. But this is this is actually a personal choice. Don't use a very very small buffer size, something like eight or four or sixteen bytes. I usually recommend you guys to use four kilobytes or eight kilobytes. Okay, that's a good buffer size. So now, well, the only thing that we need to do is basically to use the while loop to set up our loop. So we'll be basically reading. We'll be basically reading uh, our file from the stream read into our stream write, okay? We're gonna read this byte here, this buffer, and be writing. So 
while while let's create the first we need to create the first one bytes read equals stream read dot read we're gonna pass the, our buffer from the index zero and buffer dot length okay so this is our first condition so this returns a integer a boolean we need to compare this and if it is greater than zero we're gonna do this okay this needs to be greater than zero i'm getting a okay need to pass another one here okay that's good so by doing this we're gonna be reading our buffer okay I'm going to be reading our buffer and the buffer is going to be the size of byte thread. Uh, for instance, our buffer is four kilobytes. If the if in the last step we have less than four kilobytes, we're going to be reading that size. So that's no problem. Uh, so because we are reading, we can now write that. This is for reading. Now we're going to be writing this. So stream write dot write buffer. Uh, zero and instead of buffer dot length when I pass in bytes read because this is the number of bytes that we are reading if you guys pass buffer dot length um, you eventually we will get you get almost right but at the last um, step you'll be getting the wrong size so you guys need to use byte read so that's basically it. Uh, you could be printing, um, let's say, because we are inside of a while loop, you could write uh, something like this, just to see what you're doing. Wrote more for KB, KB, okay, KB. So if you if we execute, we should see that we are be getting this message worth more for kilobytes a uh, lot so you guys can see here oh I see we could not find the, that file I messed up somewhere oh see this is not about open start to create okay we're gonna be creating a new file that file don't exist so we need to create a new file so okay Let's execute now. Hmm, that's odd. Um, let me see what we are doing wrong here. Okay, I forgot a comma here. Let's execute. So you guys can see wrote more for kilobytes, more kilobytes, more for kilobytes. That's running that is gonna take some time because this is a um it's quite a it's not a big file but at the same time it's not that small and you guys can see here uh and i think we are done okay this is the file that we created let me show the original file and you guys can see that yeah i'm gonna show you guys the original file I have some files here. You guys can see that it's the same size, okay? Okay, you guys can see that. Um, yeah, <laughs> we cannot see that. Let's just copy this over here. And you guys will probably see that they are the same size, okay? This is our copy. This is our original file. Uh, so that's it. This is how you guys can copy a file in C-Sharp using Firestream. I hope you guys enjoy and see you guys next time.